Hey, what's going on out there, everybody? Rooster here in Tennessee, uh, looking at another radio today that we've got up for sale. Uh, this one's a Uniden PC78XL, uh, made in the Philippines, tuned up by a Forrest Gump in Alabama. Uh, the last one we did a video on was this uh, 76, and uh, it is sold, waiting on the money order to get here. Uh, guys paying me via money order. Um, so this one is for sale, and it's in really good shape. Um, case on it's real nice. Uh, it does have some little wire up here around the top. You can see that spot right there. But uh, other than that, it's in good shape. Meter looks good in it. it does have the wide LED meter light. Uh, Gump has done all of his mods to it. Uh, transmit, peak and tune, uh, improved receive, widened out receive. Uh, the VFO wind up mod is on the uh, dynamic squelch control. So. If this uh, button is flipped up, the wind up is on, down, uh, the wind up is off. This is your variable power control, this outer knob. Let's uh, see, wide open. Right, we've got another radio on. Sorry about that. Wide open. We're keying. It's like about six watts, 50 watt slug. Audio going forward to about 10 bird. Audio, give or take. Right at 10, uh, average. Key in six, that's wide open. Um, I was trying to think anything else to tell you about it. We'll check it out on peak, but uh, it's for sale. It's a good radio. I think this one has a stock final in it. And uh, these Uniden radios, uh, for whatever reason, with the uh, stock final, I mean, you just don't really see um, a whole lot more power, even if you put a 1969 in there. Um, I think on average, they gain maybe somewhere between five and 10 watts peak, and maybe one watt average, maybe one and a half watts average, if you put a 1969 in. So um, you could always put one in this one and get a little bit more power out of it, but it's got the stock final now, and it's doing right at 10 birds. So uh, pretty dang good, if you ask me. Let's see what it does peak. Make that focus. Middle scale. Audio, 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 audio. Test one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I just put brand new batteries in this uh, bird meter too. I left it on and the batteries went dead on it. Hello radio, one, two, three. Hello radio, one, two, three. Hello radio, one, two, three. Let's see here, turn the RF power all the way down. Audio basically key and nothing. Audio, 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 audio. Swing it over 45. Let's turn it wide open. Six. Audio, 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 audio. Changes a little bit. Cuts the top end back just a little bit when the carrier comes out high. But uh, ready to rock, guys, and uh, I hope uh, some make somebody a real good radio. It is for sale, and uh, give you a pretty good deal on if you're interested. And uh, before I end the video, I got a couple more radios I'm gonna have for sale coming up. Uh, DX99 V2 in the box, new, and a uh, Striker 655 HPC also new. Uh, both of them are converted. Uh, ready to go and uh, tuned up or whatever and uh, they're ready to ready to roll but they're both uh, both new basically been taken out of the box to test and uh, that's about it but uh, those will also be for sale if you're interested but uh, anyway back to this radio if you guys are interested shoot me a text 423-299-3535 any questions about anything else feel free to hit me up and we will uh, get back to you. All right, hope you guys have a good one and uh, enjoy the hobby. See you, bye.